Okay, the container command is up. We have created our models. We just are going to have to see the service page. The columns have been created. So, what we are going to do here is let's do some more configuration. We we'll have app dot config SQL out game database URI. This is the URI of our database. So we are going to add it there. We're going to add it there. Remember, we are using Postgres. So that's the first thing that will come up. Postgres here. Forward slash. The name of the user. Then the password. At. Local. Or. Do. Add. So. Here is the format PostgreSQL. Hidden page is the name of the user. This other one is the password for this user. And this is the general URL for the user. So this is the default URL on this port 543. And the last one slash to go up to the name of the database. So we have this configuration there. So I think I'm good to go. And remember, the first thing we have to do. The first thing we have to do is to initiate our database, initialize our database class db init. Okay, let's go ahead and check out that L my phone. Okay, 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 okay. Attribute telephone key. I think the mistake is from here and just remove that underscore. I think it's foreign key, it should be together. I think it should be together. So foreign then capital P UI. I think that's what we should have there. And if I just plus BBE. Alright, we have another one. Either SQL came data visualize or SQL binds may be set. We have that set already. So I think the error here is we have to set the data visualize first before we set the configuration for the app. So let's just have our BD init here. Then have the configuration on top of it. Let's try this again. All right, it works. So that's the error. Note, this is foreign key, foreign and capital key UI. There's no underscore and we have to set the configuration before we register the app on the database. So that's the first thing we have to do. After running class db init, we need to run class db migrate. Okay, our migration is also done this year. Is also done. Then the last thing will be is last db upgrade. Then you receive something like this ending with empty message. Then our database structure has been inserted in the database. So let's go to our command line to check the database. Backward slash dt. Now we can see the two tables we have to do. And we have to do this now. Let's check the table details. Let's check to do now. We can see to do we have ID, we have description, we have completed, which is a boolean, we have the list ID also. All right, that's good. Let's check the other one also. And for the other table to do this, we have the ID and we also have the name. So now we can see that our database has been created completely. Then the next thing we have to do is after we have created our database, the next thing we have to do is to start creating controllers. Controllers that will be able to take a data from the database and send it over to our web page. But before that, let's 
quickly see how we can transfer data from our database to the web page from our controller to the web page let's use this index.html again we are still going to use it for now we can have maybe data let's just have an example data is equal to because maybe when we query our database we can query our database with maybe to do dot query dot first or have something like this it's going to return the value the value returns what if we want the value to display on the web page so we are going to use something like this so we'll store it in a variable so let's just see how data transfer works so we can have data is equal to let's have let's just have a name here let's say name is tj so we have this name now we can go to our index of HTML. we can have a day i'm using last then we can have another one here data so we can have data this is index.html and remember what we are the template we are rendering is index.html now we have returned a variable which is called data so it is able to read the variable with the data we are passing the name there so we can read this table. this is the ginger template that flask uses to render its web pages so Flask uses the ginger template and the ginger template has gone with the with the project you see the syntax of the ginger template how we use the statements how we use loops in the ginger template so let's try this out let's try this out by running our app and create this and let's have our flask run all right let's go to this on the browser You can see it now. Hey there, I am using Flask, and we can see the name that we passed here. You see, we have data is TJ, and on this web page we didn't write TJ, there, but we wrote data, which is the data, the variable that has been passed in from here. We have data, so you can see it here. It is being displayed. Okay, let's try one more thing. Let's pass in a list. Let's pass in list let's have another one let's have maybe data one let's do a list of to do and list let's just have something like this to see how it works let's come to our page here let's quickly do a loop a loop statement Still basically same as Python. We have a mode loss here. That's for we can have for D in data one. Remember data one is a list, so that's why we are using the for loop here. So you can just have maybe list then D. Then we have to close the for statement. In ginger template any statement to open we have to close this and four so let's shut this and start again in the coming videos we're going to see how we will run our database so that at every change made when we make anything it is going to refresh so from the next video we we'll see that so let's go to the browser again and refresh. Now we can see it here to do and list. <laughs> here is the data. Data one to do and list. And here is the web page. We have a for loop here for D in data one. We want it to print out the D. We want it to display the D. And now we can see it here to do and list. So that is how data is being passed. So from next video, we are going to create controllers and loop. We use the controllers to query data from our database and display it here. And also to pass in data from the web page to the database.